Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at using the dictation feature in Siri. So thanks to Siri, you can dictate text now on your iPhone. You can do it in any application that accepts text, anything that has the keyboard. So you can do it in mail, you can do it for text messages, and you can do it in word processors. Let's take a look. So to use Siri's dictation feature, all you need to do is be in an app where you can type text, like here I am in Pages. Then bring up the keyboard and then you'll see the microphone to the left of the space. Tap it then speak what you want to be converted to text and then tap Done. Testing. One, two, three. Now you can say certain commands that make the dictation do something besides just translate the words. For instance, you can say all caps to make the next word all capital letters. Let me demonstrate. I, all caps, really want a cheeseburger. For most punctuation, you just speak the punctuation. This is a test, period. Doesn't always get everything perfectly right. For instance, quote, I love my new iPhone, comma, quote, he said, period. Now you can see it put a space between the comma and the second quote and no space between that and the H. So it didn't get it quite right but you see how to add basic punctuation. Here are examples of some other basic punctuation. Question mark. Exclamation point. Ampersand. Open parentheses. Close parentheses. Dash. M dash. And you have tons of other symbols you can say as well. For instance, asterisk, underscore, dollar sign, euro sign, at sign, pound sign, less than sign, forward slash, backslash. There are even a few emoticons you can do. Smiley. Frowny. Winky. When you want to produce separate lines of text, you can use new line or new paragraph. This is line 1, period. New line. This is line 2, period. New line. This is line 3, exclamation point, new paragraph. And this is line 4, period. You can use the word point in a number. 6.626068. Now it's very difficult to type words saying them letter by letter in Siri. So you have to use some tricks. One thing is to turn off caps and the other is to turn off spaces. Uh, otherwise you'll do everything in uppercase and it's going to put spaces whenever you pause when spelling the word out. Let's try it with my last name and see if we can get it to work. No caps on. No space on. R O S E N Z W E I G. No space off. No caps off. That worked that time. Now, interestingly enough, if you've ever used Dragon Dictation Software by Nuance, you'll find that. This works very similar to how Siri works. It's because the engine is almost certainly the Nuance engine which Apple has licensed for use. That's why a lot of these commands seem about the same. One big difference between the more expensive Dragon Dictation software for Mac is that you can train it to recognize your voice and you have a ton of different commands. For instance, you can say strike that to go back a little bit and all these different commands to manipulate what you've said so you don't ever have to actually go and physically edit the text. So this is kind of a subset of it but it's kind of neat that it works just with your voice without any training. So hope you found this look at Siri dictation useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.